Gruen versus Bryce. So uh, Gruen ends up in the middle of this thing every time. Gruen <laughs> pulled Griffin and Josh from the Sway reality show, and Bryce and Gruen went at it. We have a clip? Let's watch the clip. Yeah, just first first things first. It's like I love how people say they pull he pulled us like like we wouldn't have a choice. It was like we chose not to do the show. How Fuck long that, had this bro. been going on for? Um the show or like the drama the show. this like oh, the show was like I think we were probably a part of it for like 5 weeks, maybe like 4 weeks and then we were like, bro, this is just wrecking so many deals. Like this is this is getting people like uh, texting us being like you guys look like idiot like it was just not good. It was the worst idea ever. And so, did Bryce want to keep doing it? Yeah, no. All the all the other boys wanted to keep doing it. They didn't want to stop the reality show. I mean, it was like a fat bag, right? But for us, it was just not worth it. Okay, so let's see the clip. <laughs> Speaking of fat bags, that was low blow. Why are you staring at me like that? Low blow, low blow. Why are you staring at me? Because I was asking you a question. It would just be a respectful man thing to do to just tell me. Big respectful man thing. We're done. So stupid. It got really stressful. We didn't see a significant utility out of the show itself other than cash. Every decision we make, including leaving the show, is a group conversation because ultimately, you know, everything we do personally affects our affects our professional life. You kicked me out of the venture capital thing too when right, it's my entire you name. Animals your name? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't know animals exist without you. Animal is my whole brand, dude. Party animal is my whole brand. If you think it's like this, then shoot me. Why'd you choose animal? I don't know. Why not? Who, who gave you the idea of animal? Here, I'll just answer for you. I did. You oh, on everybody in Sway. Look at your text to Blake. What, where I called him out for being a jackass with you? Where you said that you know every single person that he works with for brand deals, and you said you could... Take him away like Not that. Like, like, is that what he said? Yeah. I don't. I don't have a photographic memory, so I don't remember the exact text. But is it something like that? Something in that area, yeah. No. What kind of power do you have to do that? It's not power. If I get a call from a brand asking me to vouch for someone, and I know that they're doing stupid, it's very hard for me to get on the phone with someone and say, "Yes, I, I vouch for that person." Who was the one that put the foot, put their foot down, and split up sway? Oh, me, hundred percent. Hey, Michael, let me see your Bitcoin wallet. Oh, yeah, because you don't have Bitcoin. You're a complete cap. You, right. The only reason you're getting connections right now is our likeness. You were messing with Bryce, the, the, the top influencer. I'm delusional. <laughs> you try to get me out of my own energy drink that has my name on it. First of all, never try to get you out. Josh, sorry to involve you. What's Did up? you try to get me out? Uh, there was a time when you weren't coming on any calls, yeah, for like uh, four or five years. You tried to get me out of my own energy drink. What does that even mean? Because it was my idea. Literally, nobody speaks up to him. Everybody just gets stepped on by him. And I don't like it. He tries to claim that he has so much power. He says he can ruin anybody. Ruin me. I'm telling him. I'm giving him permission. Like, do it. Damn. I can be honest. Okay. I may have to start watching this fucking show if it wasn't canceled. That was pretty <laughs> fucking good. That was good. I watched it. Kareem texted me, you got to watch this episode. I watched it, and then I binged the whole thing. That, to me, mm. felt very real. I mean, uh, nah, bro. That shit's so fucking fake and, like, cut together in certain ways. I, like... That whole entire scene wasn't even shot close to like that. Like they they they're editing in stuff that happens like three hours later, putting it before, and like they'll add the stuff that's from like two day clip interview before throw it into there. It's like it's kind of weird. Super well, super. Weird so setup. Gruen Gruen commented on that. He said that the episode initially was supposed to be about Dave, like, and that you broke up. Yeah. Today. We have the clip. Yeah. It's like a short clip from a podcast that he did with Griffin. But he, basically, it was supposed to be about Dave, and then they just changed it and made it about Gruen. No, they did. That is true. We got to watch the first like aired episode. <laughs> this guy. Dude. What actually bothers me more is the personal relationships of this. Like, I consider Bryce <laughs> a friend. You know, it affects them personally. Yeah. Like. But the other part about it, I think this whole thing is really funny, is they originally filmed an episode where they painted the entire narrative that Dave Portnoy broke up Sway. And then mm. Facebook didn't let them show that because it was like already on the internet, all that information. So then episode, the next episode is like, it's me who broke up Sway. So I texted the executive producer, I'm like, I don't know, I'm just curious, like, was it Dave or me? Because it keeps changing. Yeah, I, I, I like, want to know. They're like, they're like, they're like <laughs> information evolves. And now the guys, some of the guys <laughs> think it was you. And I said... But they thought yesterday on record that it was Dave. So are you like, maybe you're creating a narrative? Is it possible? They didn't respond. Yeah. It's well, like, I mean, obviously they are. I mean, oh, really? That, that
I mean, not wrong. I like it, it was kind of funny because they did show us like this uh, pre like they would like do these airings. Right. And we'd all sit down and watch the, the episodes before they came out. And there was this whole episode, Dave, where it was like me and you were fucking Satan. Like we were the worst people on the earth. We were <clears throat> we were the reason Sway broke up. We were like the epitome of just bad dudes. And then uh, there was like, I think Bryce. Had, where would they even or, get the footage of that from me? It was just, like, from our podcast recording with Bryce. It was, like, a couple, like, clips they were taking off the internet, taking off a bar stool. And then Facebook was like, nah, we can't air this because there was, like, a bunch of drinking montage clips from, like, Bryce's old vlogs or, like, strippers from his old vlogs or something crazy like that. So then Facebook was like, we can't air this episode. So then they reshot the entire episode and completely changed the entire higher narrative they had to find a new villain how big is this show or was it this show is it still going now that you're out of it or is the show dead i mean i don't know i don't i'm I, oh it's still going no it's still it's still being filmed but you're just not in it no i just was like i gotta I, i'm gonna leave because like we didn't want to do it from the start but then they were like no we're gonna cancel the show for all the boys if you and griff don't do it and we were like fuck well that makes us feel like dicks if we're taking away like hundred thousand dollar deals or hundreds of thousands of dollars from our friends that are already like committed to that right they already thought they were getting it they already signed the deal so it was just like this really weird situation where we were kind of like all right do we take the hit and do the deal but then it just started affecting too much stuff so we had to step so how much money did you turn down josh um i ended up like the the full deal was like half a mil for just you or for everybody no for me so you you just turn that that is you're living right if you just turn that down (laughs) yeah wow and am i wrong this is my impression as we continue with the sway and even though I threw that jab, I like making fun of him. I like Gruen. Um, I'm but team Gruen. I like yeah, Gruen. Yeah, he's grown on me. But you... Gruen's grown. You, Gruen, and Griff, Griffin, yeah. you seem like a pod within now. Am I wrong about that? Are, like, like I don't see Gruen and, and Bryce being... Like, Bryce does his thing. But I don't see him being like a Gruen guy. I really see it being you, Gruen, At and Griffin. At one point, he, it, was, it was me, <clears throat> Bryce, and Gruen, though. For like a good three months straight. And that, and that was like, because Griff was kind of doing more like, just like still doing social media shit. And then me and Bryce were doing like all these investment calls together. And we were doing all the, like we were doing everything. And then he just kind of stepped away from it. He just didn't like it. He wanted to be more entertainment focused. He started like being like, nah, I don't really want to do that stuff. Uh, which is fine. Like, cool. You go, go do what you want to do. You know what I mean? Bryce is like an entertainer at heart. He's like, Big, big energy in front of a camera. He's not like sit down at a desk and listen to a venture call for 30 minutes to an hour. That's not that guy. Right. So would you, but so would you say I'm right then in that assessment? That now, yeah, yeah. Now I would say you're right. I would say that it's like me, Griffin, Gruen go and do our work together every day. And then like, uh, like we hang out with people. It's just like when we're working, we're together. You just so how's the relationship right now? And I know it's gone up and down with Bryce. Good. Yeah. No, I would say I'm chilling like i would say we're, we're great 